We're in the Weber Music Hall at the University of Minnesota Duluth with Gene Kaczynski and he is filling us in on the percussive movement and also what you're doing with marimbas. Yeah, I mean, I'm a marimba player, but I'm also a percussionist and I also compose and I teach at the University of Minnesota Duluth. You are a busy man <laughs> and travel a little bit. This is a voice, this marimba is a voice that, that somehow captured you. What happened? Um, you know, uh, it wasn't my first instrument. I started playing drum set um, when I was really young. Uh, my dad taught me by rote how to play drum set and that's what I did for many, many years until I was in high school and I saw people playing this thing and I thought it was really cool. Um, so uh, I was a little tentative because he actually had to read notes um, and I didn't know how to do that. So I decided I was going to learn how to do that and forever I was really just uh, stuck to this instrument. That is an awesome sound. <laughs> One of the things you've been recently working on is um, work for two mallets. Right, now the trend is playing four mallets. Um, ever since it was invented, it was sort of uh, um, a really great vehicle to be able to do more. And I feel that, uh, especially recently, a lot of people focus on that and there's a missed potential for uh, two mallet performance, so I decided I'm going to spend, um, I spent a long time actually research, researching what is available and wanted to um, generate some more pieces by commissioning other composers and writing a whole bunch myself. So performing is one thing, but composing is a whole another way to think. I'm really interested in generating new music and I really do it for myself. I don't really need to do it. I have a, a full-time teaching job at the university which I love and I perform a lot so I really just compose uh, music that I'd like to play and if anyone enjoys it that's a bonus you know so uh, that's sort of where I'm at with the composition. Go something like that. <laughs> that is awesome. And so how do you know when you nail it? I don't know. People say good job. <laughs> Actually, the most important thing, something expressive to, to communicate to the audience, you know. That's the most important thing about music or any art is that you're communicating something about yourself or at least about the piece or the composer to the audience. Um, and that's m much more important than playing all the right notes at the right time because um, there's lots of people that can do that, you know. So this is the cajon. How did you hear this voice of this instrument with a bassoon? Those two um, instruments don't seem like, you know, they would work together. Well, th that piece in particular really uh, came from Jeff Campbell, who is the head of our music department, and he plays the bassoon. He, he's an, a, an amazing player, um, but he wanted something that he can play that audience could, the, the general population could connect with, you know, pop influenced. Um, and so I wrote this piece for him, which is sort of basically like a funk bassoon solo, and I think it needed a little bit of uh, drum set kind of sound, but I think the drum set was too much, so the cajon was sort of perfect. And um, a lot of people love this piece, and they've been playing it all over the world. So where do you think you'll be in 10 years? You know, are you going to keep making music? Are you going to well, move towards yeah. performing, I mean, uh, more composing? I like performing most, uh, most uh, of all. The composing is just uh, f to facilitate the performing or, but I'll definitely be doing probably the same thing. I'm um, just trying to, you know, from a uh, performing aspect, trying to get better every day uh, and trying to reach the next level, um, not, not, not even knowing really what that is. And how crazy is it to have your music out in the world being performed in Argentina and all over? It's really encouraging to see a lot of other people uh, gravitating toward it and finding a need in their programs. Um, so it's, it's encouraging to write more stuff and, and see where that goes. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.